Jada, Will, their separation, and that slap. The headlines keep coming as Jada promotes her memoir, Worthy. It's the challenges where we find our greatest selves, and without them, we won't. And that part is what I had to learn throughout, you know, throughout my journey. But there's another man in her journey, the late legendary rapper Tupac Shakur. They met while students at the Baltimore School for the Arts, and she's called him her soulmate. One of the most difficult things that you had to write about in this book was losing your friend, your soulmate, Tupac Shakur. On the internet, there's been a whole lot about me calling Pac my soulmate. And I think people regard soulmate just in a romantic way. And soulmates aren't just romantic, right? Because as you read in the book, exactly. Pac and I were not romantic. But he is a soulmate. I know I will see him again. Despite not being romantic, she says he once did propose to her. But she lost him when the world did. The hip-hop giant was ambushed in a drive-by shooting on the Vegas Strip in 1996. Pac was riding in a car with rap mogul Suge Knight and died days later. You write about the day that Suge Knight delivered his ashes to you. Right. And I could feel your rage yeah. on that page. What can you tell us about that day? Having to receive um, Pac's ashes in that way was a really devastating moment to just get him in this little cardboard box. And yeah, I was I was very rageful about the whole thing. You write that he was sort of cavalier mm -hmm. about how he delivered it. And, he was. And, yeah, and did that make you think that he was somehow involved? One thing I've learned, not to make assumptions. Lord knows so many assumptions have been made about me of what people think they know front-facing, and there's always more to the story, so I can't make assumptions. 